back on a farm with Toon and Lee in Thailand and today i um, just going to give you a bit, bit of a quick update on a few things that we've got growing and uh, about someone that's been incredibly kind to us. Here we go, check out our garlic chives. They're not garlic and they're not chives, they're garlic chives. And we've been trying to get hold of these for ages and ages. And uh, to say they're incredibly rare in our part is, is really an understatement. We just couldn't get them. Been trying for ages. So um, we got hold of some seed and uh, true to form, as is often the case with uh, purchasing seeds in Thailand, they've probably been stored at 200 degrees centigrade and uh, nothing germinates. So I did see a fellow YouTuber growing these um, on his channel and I sent him a message and uh, I basically begged, I, I virtually threw myself at his feet and kept on nagging him for a few of his rhizomes. I don't know what a rhizome is, it's just like a, if you imagine a spring onion um, and a shallot so they look like a spring onion, but they multiply like shallots. And then you just harvest the tops. A lot of people make the <coughs> fermented garlic chives. But like I say around here, you just can't get hold of them. So people use the spring onion. So it's a really good opportunity for us. Um, but there was one proviso from the fella who sent these uh, via mail um, that he's gonna stay Anonymous. So uh, thank you, Mr. Anonymous. Uh, you're a scholar and a gentleman. And uh, we'll keep everyone updated how they're getting on. But we got, um, from just such a small box, we've got, I don't know, probably 30, 40, and every single one is taken. You might say that's not taken, but I've got some kachai in there. Okay, right, on to the next one. This is like a, a pub quiz, the next thing here. Now, it may look like a load of weeds to you, but this plant, it's not a papaya, it's not tomato, it's, what is it, Tune? <laughs> Minute, hang on. Just gonna go and inquire with my sometimes ever-present helper. It's called what, love? Pong Chulot. Pong Chulot, which means? MSG. MSG, so we've got an MSG plant. Get back to it. I should have just picked it and walked over with it. It's got nothing to do with MSG. And you don't really see this in the markets. Toon just grabbed a load of it from a woman that had some growing in the <coughs> in the village nearby. And I don't, I don't normally get excited about veg, but the the leaves, oh, we've just had a few for breakfast. Just just and eat the whole thing. And it's quite sweet, but if you cut them here and fry them, they become like um, like a strong spring green, but even more tasty than that. And spring greens is probably one of my all-time favourites vegetable. They're fantastic. So Toon just really quickly fries them, uh, and then we use them as an accompaniment to go with the uh, whatever main courses that we've got. Um, some of them are going to flat. You can eat the whole thing. But what I want to do is show you how easy they are to grow and also what they look like on the inside. I should have thought about this. I've got to go and get a knife now. My assistant doesn't go fetching and carrying for me. Right, so I'm tooled up. I've got my shank. And just check this out. Let's try and find one that will be suitable. <coughs> okay, so if we go down here, and just where it's starting to, to change from a, like a woody bit to very green. Oh, one-handed. It's not going well, is it? There you go. Now, look at this. It's like aloe vera inside. Let's make sure we can get that. There you go. It's like a jelly inside there but also you get a white sap coming out now i'm aware that 
vegetables and fruit that have a, a, a that leach out a white sap you have to be careful some people um, are allergic to that sort of thing you know like uh, you have your somtam with unripened um, papaya so you just have to make sure that you're all right this is the one that Toon cut this morning just for us to eat right so let's fill you in on this now I was so impressed with the taste of this I said to Toon I think we'll have a go at growing this um, so basically if you cut it about there and just stick it in the soil and keep it moist it grows Toon only well we only cut a few days ago look at the, the new growth there so all this lot over here get some miles in this morning all this here was from one bunch and we had all the good bits and just stuck the others straight in the ground no hormone um, we've been uh, putting aloe vera on some things that we've been making cuttings on nothing at all like that just shoved them straight into the soil not fed it not obviously not weeded it whatever that is um, it's going well this was twice the height but I love it so much I've, uh, I've hacked them all off now and put them elsewhere on the farm so I don't know what the what the name of it is other than what Toon's already said which I've forgotten so MSG um, so we're gonna we're gonna chop the uh, the leaves off here and then just stick it in the ground well here we go I've said previously we don't grow anything in our tyres other than fruit trees but look at that don't believe everything you hear we have started doing it now um, so I'll give you an update and show you how, how well that does but brilliant plant really really tasty I can highly recommend that uh, this this norm this tyre is just really for anything that's going over a bit in the kitchen and two fancies having a go at growing it, so it's growing grass quite well there. Uh, this is Pak Chi, uh, Toon always takes the piss out of how I pronounce it, Pak Chi Bai Loi. She's laughing, I can hear in the background, but that's quite nice. <clears throat> it's nice raw, we have that with um, spring onions and coriander. Uh, this plant here, Toon says it's called the snake of God, and Toon's little niece, Kai Muk, as most of you know, she's a star of our channel sometimes, <clears throat> uh, she got bitten on the neck by a uh, centipede. And you break this off and that has that white sticky stuff that you could see from, from, from there and put it on there and that sorted it out. Of course, she still went to hospital, um, but it took the swelling out of it and uh, sort of like anaesthetized it for her a little bit until she could get to see a doctor so uh, we'll keep tabs on that as well of course I'm always getting stung and uh, bitten on the farm it's uh, sort of like one of my favorite pastimes so this may well be beneficial for us but that's been stuck in now a week and it hasn't gone dry and crispy so I think all good on to the next one then uh, gang still useless obviously Tune update. How's your thyroid, missus? Getting good, isn't it? How's your hay fever? Terrible. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> right. In here, aloe vera is doing very, very well. Beijing grass doing very, very well. All my moringa gonna say it all but I've got a rogue one come back up uh, I've transplanted it all now most of it's taken um, if you grow moringa <coughs> and you transplant it or you, you just grow it straight into the ground and it gets nipped off by a bug or something like that or just something lands on it and snaps it don't give up on it uh, the roots are so hardy they'll start sprouting up again like this has so this has obviously been chopped off but I, I, I missed a bit of root and uh, they grow again uh, the root I mean that that plant there the root will be like that on it so if you ever looked at um, young papaya plants when you lift those out they've got a really long 
um, taproot <coughs> from uh, from very very early on. So that's why they're quite. I imagine that's why they're quite tricky to transplant. It doesn't knock them back a bit. But that's that's going well. Um, these are my Burma onions. Uh, they're probably just normal onions, but someone said they're Burma onions and we purchased them, probably why they're expensive. Um, and they've all taken, bar that one, nearly made me a liar, didn't you? So that's all right. Uh, I've just been running out of room and decent soil. So any little pot I've got, they've been going in there. Uh, and here I've put a few in. I don't think these are taken yet because this dries out quicker. And we've got some bloody mafia chickens that keep on getting over the Alcatraz fence. So, uh, yeah, I lost half my garlics. It's, um, it's all right, I know it is. And um, when we want Tom Yam Guy ban, uh, they'll be in. Here as well, I've got my spuds in. Uh, they've not come up yet. And even if they did, the chickens are scratching around there anyway. It's good they're clearing the soil from weeds, but they keep on spreading me mulch everywhere. So it's a bit of old rough ground this. Perfect for uh, sticking your, your taters in. Papayas are going crazy. Everything flowering now. And Toon's edible flower, well one of our plants that's got edible flowers. What's the name again, Lee? What's the name, Mrs? Anchan. Anchan. So a few have gone over. Toon's this is it, when you're married to a Thai woman. Oh, I love Anchan flowers, I'm gonna buy a big bag of them. She's like, why don't, we, why don't we just grow them then? Yeah, there's a little seed pod there. So now we grow them, now she doesn't eat them. Now we've got them for free. Look, they're all, I'm gonna have to have a word to put my foot down, aren't I? So, they are very, very nice and you can also make a tea out of them. I never used to be into all this eating flowers and making teas and that, but they're very good for you. Loads of antioxidants. Uh, they obviously keep you looking very, very buff. And, uh, but if you're ugly, there's no hope for you. You'll still be ugly even if you have a pint of this every day. That's it, deadheaded, mum would be proud. Hi Fran, if you're watching. Can't say Fran, can I, mum? Yeah. Done. Um, this one, I'll tell you what my memory. What's it called, Mrs? Bayar. Bayar. This is the one, uh, if you've got erectile dysfunction, um, you eat the fruit of those, uh, but it got absolutely mullered by beetles. So uh, Toon got the machete out and hacked it to pieces. And we gave it a, a bio spray and it's coming back good. So, but these are good for making little parcels and putting your peanut in there. I said peanut, uh, chili and Oh, God, I'm not going to ask her again. But make like little savoury parcels in there, sweet, savoury, and spicy parcels. Really good. Uh, go to restaurants and that when um, you order a fish dish, like a fish curry or something like that. Uh, a lot of them lay them out onto these these leaves. Um, they're really they're really healthy for you. So uh, don't leave them on your plate. They're not just decorative. They are good for you and they are tasty. Eggplants growing everywhere on their own. We've had the goats in here for a couple of days, but now the rains are here. It's uh, they can't keep up. <coughs> so if someone would like to send us a thousand goats, um, that'd be great. Pay you back in a year or two. Our old bamboo bush that we took over a hundred cuttings from to put around the lake. It's going great guns. So uh, Toon wants to have a go at doing some more sour bamboo. We gave, we gave a load to Toon's mum. She made a load for, for Toon's youngest brother. I, I was sent on Kerry the other day. Uh, 
looking really good. I am going to start looking at um, utilising this stuff. Now the soil's nice and um, damp, it's easier to get up. And um, apparently, the bamboo you can you can actually take some of the the, the compost that it's, it's made from underneath it, and it's very high in I think it's silica, which is hard to come by in the uh, soil world so I'm going to scratch a little bit up, not too much, I don't want to uh, pillage it too much but you can look at the growth now and we haven't fed this, just lots and lots of rain and Toon's new bamboo that she put in less than a year ago it's doing well, we've even chopped a couple of bits out as well so very happy, this is what we've put round all the lake well just about all round the lake Excellent. <laughs> Moringa has gone bonkers. The more you cut it, the more it grows. Look at that one now. This is the one that was hacked to pieces. Look at that. Amazing, amazing. Still not got enough to uh, feed the goats with it. But the goats are happy with getting and uh, being let out on the uh, on the range, so to speak. But lovely, I love the green. Super, like a fluorescent lime green. Excellent. So I think I think that'll do. Just a quick blitz. Um, the reason I wanted to do a, a, just a quick one today is um, we've just been so busy with a big secret project and uh, a few of you have got wind of what it is but uh, we want to make like a little mini series of it and then pop it all up onto uh, YouTube in one go and uh, look at this Bahoo Bahi eucalyptus it's about as straight as your John Thomas after about nine pints of Stella that Everything growing well, including the weeds. Lovely. We planted quite heavily along here, uh, mainly because we wanted to stop someone stealing our land. But we've got a lot of climbing weed. I need to get in here. It's just I haven't got time at the moment. We've got to see this project through, and uh, and then we can get on with sort of this sort of thing. And that's not looking good at all. Lee Lower D beautiful beautiful flowers but something's having a bash at that so that'll need a that'll need a spray we've got something for the, for this sort of this sort of uh, illness or whatever it is all right gang what are you doing shuffle useless animal I've had breakfast just made a second coffee and uh, we're then gonna continue lots of things planned I haven't had time to do any more biochar. Uh, I've come up with a robust composting system that I am yet to implement. But, uh, it's all coming. It's all coming along. It's just that we've got a bit of a setback for, well, it's about seven days we've been doing it now. This uh, big project. So uh, I'll catch up for a week after that and then uh, we'll start our new projects. So one last time, the MSG plant is called... <laughs> Pong Chulot. Pong Chulot. Mm. There you go. So if you want some of that, tell your missus. And uh, like I say, you'd, you very, very rarely see them in the marketplace. Um, but you will see some people, um, hopefully, growing a plant or two uh, on, on the front of their property and then just go up and steal it. Oh, no, I mean, just go up and say, can have a, can have a little bit. You only need one bit. Eat the leaves, stick the stick in, keep it moist, and uh, then you're good to go. Okay. Easy to grow that one. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh, and uh, thank you, Grant and Pipon. Our uh, lime fruits or lime leaf fruits are drying out nicely, so we're going to have lots of red curry paste in the future. Don't do what I did and sniff it while you're squeezing it and then all the juice uh, squirts into your eyeball. So word from the wise. Ta-da for now. Thanks for watching guys.